looks like the tables have turned once again. Sparks! All right. I'm fixing them. I'm going to fix them once again, except hopefully this time there will be no more accidents, no more customers falling through. This time we've got it. There we go. They're still wooden and rustic, but now they're safe. You can bounce on them, you can walk on them, you can... Oh, oh yeah, that's just the step. Yeah, so there we go! Leave my tables alone! <laughs> ah, sparks! It's come to my attention that my place is damaged. Look at that open ceiling, the walls, no DJ, hole in the floor. What the heck? Oh, it's all wrecked. I'm thinking that what happened was this place probably got struck by lightning and um, probably like stayed on fire because of the partial roof and so it burned whatever was inside all this wool and stuff. So, I have phase, two phases of repair. Phase one, internal. Phase two, external. I'm gonna fix this up and uh, get it back whole again. And then I'm gonna take preventative measures to try and make it so it can't catch on fire again. So, that's what I'm working on. It's kind of a shame to cover up the ceiling, but, uh, like I said, it uh, uh, needs to be dark in here to, exempt, to amplify the lighting when it happens. So, well, at least people got to look at the roof work. <laughs> Let's just squeeze, that won't let me. I'm being serenaded by the kitty while I work. Oh, I'm out of black wool. Oh well, I'm gonna get more of it back when I fill in the colors anyway. What happened here? Seriously. I guess it's just the absence of the wool, I think. All right, and poor DJ Paper, rest in peace, man. Uh, all right, let's get back to work here and start filling in the colored wool. And keep on this column. I guess I'll put some here. Oh, more yellow. See, I want it to be kind of random, and it's a little, little tricky. Okay, we got some red here. Uh, where do I put it? Here, I guess. And then that's good. I didn't need that much. Next orange. Uh, meanwhile, um, uh, I heard that some health stores in the U.S. have been selling fake uh, herbal supplements. That really, really ticks me off. People pay good money for herbal supplements, and like for me, it's really important because 
you know, my diet. Not only can I not tolerate much vegetables, but also have to eat gluten-free. So I, I really need uh, supplements to contain what they say they do. almost all, yeah, that, that's almost all the same pattern, so let's do that instead. So yeah, it's, it's a really big deal here. Um, a local store, uh, Mother Earth Foods, is around here, which, it surprises me, they, they formed they're like mostly a natural and organic store. They formed in 1975, way before this was like a fad, and uh, in a conservative area where most people don't care about their health and stuff because it's all polluted and stuff here. Uh, it uh, it's in the middle of nowhere. It's really hard to find, and it's way off the beaten path in the middle of some suburb area in just this little white shop with a rainbow-colored uh, uh, flag-top thingy on the porch thing. Uh, it's pretty darn amazing that this place has managed to not only stay in business all these years, but actually thrive. They recently expanded. Uh, it's much, much bigger in the inside now. Much more used area. And they uh, recently put in solar panels. So it's like, you know, if you build it, they will come. <laughs> in the areas where you least expect it, there are still people who you know, there's still an audience for healthy food and stuff. Um, and that place has been a lifesaver for me. Uh, they have tons of gluten-free products. They have uh, tons of uh, natural and organic products that are pretty affordable. You know, not, not too cheap, but not too expensive either. And... Uh, they have natural lotion that really helps my psoriasis, a uh, lip balm, which is great for my lips because they are always constantly chapped, no matter what time of year it is. So yeah, that it's a good place, and I'm glad that it's in business, and especially in this area. It's cool. Yo, magic. <laughs> Okay, looks like we've got this place fixed on the inside. Uh, I'll get a new DJ later. For now, here's his booth. Alrighty, now time for phase two. Going to put more stained glass up here and cover up all this wool. That's what we're doing. Let's get started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Na 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 na. I like that song. My dad liked that song too, which surprised me. It didn't seem like his style. Hmm. It's kind of laggy, the sound effects. Uh, I can't really tell the difference between purple and magenta uh, stained glass. So I guess I'll just use them interchangeably for now, because I don't know which one I have up here. Meanwhile, uh, I've been playing some XCOM with my brother, and some of you might have re noted that uh, I, f for a while, had some playthrough of XCOM The Long War with my brother, but then we got rid of it. Uh, it 
uh, Long War is uh, it's a mod of XCOM, and XCOM is a turn-based strategy where you fight aliens and stuff. And I, uh, well, I, yeah, I'm gonna leave that in there. There's good and bad to the Long War mod and to the game itself as a whole. Uh, I gotta get more glass. Alrighty, we're almost done. Almost finished. I can afford to lose that one. I'm too lazy to use my pick. But anyway, XCOM Long War, uh, it has a lot of unfairness, a lot of stats have changed, a lot of, uh, I don't know, it's hard to get specific when talking about it. Uh, like certain aspects are missing, some uh, explosive weapons are janked up so that they don't hurt enemies correctly. Like when they're in the range of it, the uh, pistols are nerfed. It's got a lot wrong with it, so we kind of called it off. All right. Uh, uh, gonna cover up these end bits too. I. Oh yeah, we gotta do all this as well. But yeah, I want to cover up all the wool so that it won't catch on fire again. We will have no more repeats, no more repeats of this incident. Everybody, everybody, it's getting to it. Get stupid, get started, get started, get started. <laughs> that song's stuck in my head now, great. <laughs> We've almost got it. I've almost got it in here. All right. Uh, I'm not going to jump. Make it easier to get rid of this dirt thing. Careful. Phew. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, this lag is so weird. <laughs> oh, man. I'm spazzing out, man. I'm spazzing out. Let's take care of this business here. <laughs> Oh, boy. There we go. No wonder I was... Oh, no! <laughs> Dang it. Don't know why it jumped. No. Fix that up. My cement is very, very fragile for cement. <laughs> Okie dokie. Now we can go up and examine our handiwork from the ground. That's actually kind of nice. Yeah, that works. Yeah, I like it. It'll work. Woot! Fixed. It's a piece of cake to bake a pretty cake. If the way is hazy, you gotta do the cooking by the book. You know you can't be lazy, never use a messy recipe. The cake will end up crazy, you gotta do the cooking by the book. Then you'll have a cake. Break it down, bitch! <laughs> oh, that mashup is so wrong, but so hilarious. <laughs> But yeah, making more Aww. cake so that everyone can enjoy some complimentary cake. Aww.
cake, 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 cake. For everybody. For everybody. Have a cake, have a cake, have a cake. There's some mail and it's waiting for me. I've got mail, can't you see? And it's ender pearls and a little bit of ladder. <laughs> well, yay, I can use it. Whee! Oh, oh, oh. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No! <laughs> Ender Pearl, why?